Briar Rose. In days long past, there was a couple, a king and queen, who spent each day in their magnificent palace wishing for only one thing, a child. Years came and went, and yet they were never blessed with a child. A frog appeared to the queen as she was bathing one day. He came to her and said, The wish of the great king and queen shall be granted. In the year to come, you shall bear a daughter. The queen thought little of what the frog had said, and as she was sure that she would never have a child. But the frog had spoken the truth, and within the year, the people of the kingdom were celebrating the birth of the king's and queen's daughter, the princess. The king and queen were so elated at the arrival of the child that they decided to hold a great feast to celebrate. They invited what seemed to be the whole of the kingdom. This included 13 wise women. Unfortunately, there were only 12 golden plates from which they could eat. Therefore, one of them would be unable to attend. The feast was celebrated with great jubilation, and as it was nearing the end, the twelve wise women came forward to bequeath their gifts to the infant princess. She was given such gifts as beauty, wealth, and virtue. As the twelfth wise woman was about to give the child her gift, the thirteenth woman, who had not been included in the celebration, burst into the room seeking revenge. The evil woman hovered over the child and placed an evil curse on her. Upon the dawning of her fifteenth year, the princess shall prick her finger on a spindle and die. With that, she turned and left all of the people of the kingdom standing there in horrified silence. The twelfth wise woman stepped forward to give the child her gift. While she did not have the power to undo the evil curse, she could change the outcome. Upon pricking her finger on the spindle, the princess shall fall into a peaceful slumber of one hundred years, but will not die. The king was still not satisfied and was determined to do all that he could to protect his precious daughter. All spindles in the kingdom were ordered destroyed by him, and he watched over the years as his daughter grew into a beautiful young woman. Each of the gifts of the wise women was apparent in the kind and gentle ways of the princess. On the day of her fifteenth birthday, the princess found herself alone in the palace, the king and queen away for the day. And so the princess explored the many rooms and chambers of the palace that she had never seen before. She soon came to the tower and climbed to the top of a tall, winding staircase that ended in a small door. She unlocked the door with a key that sat in the rusty lock and found a simple old woman spinning flax upon a spindle. What is that you are doing? she questioned the old woman. Why, I'm spinning. What is that? asked the princess as she reached out and touched the bobbing spindle. And with that, the princess fell upon the bed that sat beside her in a deep, deep sleep. It did not take long before this silent slumber had reached the rest of the kingdom. The king and queen, the horses in the stable, the birds of the sky, all fell into the same deep sleep as the princess. All became quiet and still. There were no fires or winds, no sounds or tremble. A briar hedge began to grow all along the walls of the great castle, and it soon covered so great an area that the palace could no longer be seen. The princess became known as the beautiful sleeping Briar Rose, and her story was passed from town to town and country to country. Many princes came with the hope of saving the princess and winning her heart, but the briar hedge was far too strong and treacherous to get through. Many years had passed since the curse had fallen upon the kingdom when a prince came to the country and heard the tale of the beautiful princess asleep within the briar-covered walls of the castle. Many tried to warn the prince against trying to save the princess. No man had ever made it past the thorns of the briar. But the young prince showed no fear and set out to save the beautiful briar rose. 
It was on the last day of the hundredth year of her slumber that the prince set forth to save the princess. As the prince approached the palace, he found beautiful blossoms in the place of the briar's menacing thorns. He walked easily through its gates, only to find the entire kingdom fast asleep. As he looked around, he could see everyone from the king's cook to the fly on the wall sleeping peacefully. Still, he did not see the princess. After much searching, he came to the tower. He climbed the staircase and opened the door, and there was the princess. She lay silently on the same bed that had held her for one hundred years. Her beauty was so overwhelming that the prince could not bear to take his eyes off her for even a moment. He walked to her bedside, leaned down, and placed a gentle kiss upon her lips. Slowly, Briar Rose's eyes opened, and she was freed from the curse. Together, they walked down from the tower and looked around the palace. All around, the kingdom was waking from its extended rest. Soon the horses, the hounds, the pigeons, even the flies in the wall were awake. Briar Rose and the handsome prince soon wed and were celebrated with much joy. Together, they lived happily for all the days of their lives.